Um, the reason why you're my ushers slash best man is just because, yeah, you're my bros. You're my, my bros from the same mother and bros from another mother. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm probably pumped. Um, uh, just, yeah, any support you can give me today would be great. Um, yeah, just, I'm going to just allow the day to happen and you guys pick up the pieces, basically. I've done what I can. Um, so yeah, cool. There's basically, I've got you all a bit of a gift. Um, so... Big P, Aww. that's for you. Thank you, babe. Aww, that's very kind of you. Cheers. Thank you, son. PK, it's knickers. That's for you. Yeah, it's knickers. <laughs> knickers, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a shirt. It's a shirt. Dad, that's, <laughs> that's your mouth on. Man. James, that's for you. Cheers, bro. Yeah. Di, that's for you. Cheers, Chief. And Chris, that's for you. There's also a little extra uh, for you, Chris, as well. So, just, just do. Crack them open. They will be very relevant for what you need to do today. That's here. <laughs> Boys. Oh. boys, 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 that's us, that's us. Let's talk about some bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I will just come off the couch. Let's go, lads. Thank you, mate. Thank you. 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 Thank so, are we getting <laughs> any particular? Are we, are we, are we doing? Order? Is it this shot? Yeah, now? we should do. We should do the stock <laughs> shot at some point, boys. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> wicked. Should we get an aerial? Oh, you doing? Yeah, it? come oh, down on it. Yep. Nice. We need a drone hovering about here. <laughs> How you feeling, Dave? Yeah, good. Um, good. <laughs> I'm just up for it. Buzzing. Buzzing. Yeah, I can't, I feel... I, it feels weird. Like, like today's the day. I know. Like, I know. Well, suddenly, quick. suddenly is here. Yeah. Whoa. How like, does that happen? Have we, have we prepped everything? I hope so. <laughs> All right then, guys. We are ready. We are ready to do this wedding thing. Got my flowers. Got my suit. Dave is uh, Dave is absolutely buzzing. And uh, yeah, I think the guys are too. So um, just dropping off some flowers down at the reception. And then we are uh, going to head to the church. Get these guys married. Yes. Right, guys, check out this venue. Expensive seat for Mars. <laughs> uh, thankfully, that is not the case. Best seats in the house. Best seats in the house. <laughs> How are you feeling, Di? I just. I've been waiting for this moment all my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, having a wait. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ian's on the piano, rocking it. Love and love.
Will you love her, comfort her, honour and protect her? And forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I will. <laughs> Take you, Megan, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. <clears throat> in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish, till death us do part. According to God's holy law, in the presence of God, I make this vow. <clears throat> I, Megan, take you, David, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, according to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. <laughs> Megan, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With all I am, I give to you. All I have, I share with you. Within the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. David, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you, within the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And keep you, the Lord mercifully grant you the riches of his grace you may please him both in body and soul, and living together in faith and love, may receive the blessings of eternal life. Amen. Amen.
But for now, perhaps a couple of words of wisdom from Big P. <laughs> David, remember, there are only two times in a man's life when he can't fully understand a woman. Before marriage and after marriage. <laughs> Seriously though, try to learn when Megan's yes means no, and when her no means yes. This will save you from engaging in pointless battles. <laughs> Megan, now that you know that David may not always fully understand you and how you feel, work together to learn each other's love languages, knowing this will bring long and lasting peace and happiness for both of you. Dave and Megan, as in the reading today in church, forgive each other quickly. Forgiving is hard. Sometimes it's really, really hard, especially when you want to win that battle. <laughs> but forgiveness begins the process of reconciliation and understanding, as well as a deeper love for one another. It just grows and grows and grows. So just forgive quickly. Ladies and gentlemen, with your glasses charged, join me in a toast, please, to the bride and groom. Bride and groom! like to say that, my goodness, did they do well with the Prosecco? I mean, I've been on the water since we sat down and I'm still not quite right. <laughs> <laughs> so do bear with me, because it's all a bit fuzzy. of my wife and I to welcome you here. Oh yeah, sorry. I did a little bit of Google research, as my dad has uh, said, we Newnham's like to research. And apparently my speech is an opportunity to speak about those who really mean something to us. So I'm going to cut straight to the chase and start with the bar staff. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Am I? No, I'm joking. So, just before I start, a little note for those I have done some speeches before weddings. Um, yeah, 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 we remember them, all of them. Just so you know, this speech has been properly vetted. Uh, there will be no mention of donkeys tonight. So. The final and, let's face it, the most important section, I have labelled this, the wife. <laughs> when it comes to talking about my bride's good points, where do I start? She's intelligent, she's generous, she's gorgeous, she's hardworking, beautiful, and let's face it, clearly a good judge of character. <laughs> what I really, 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 really love about Megan is her honesty. The other day we bought a new armchair. And we were sat in the lounge, Megan sat in the armchair just trying out, I'm in the sofa, and Megan just pipes up quickly, and she says, it's nice to be at a distance. <laughs> Honestly, that's what she said. <laughs> so, I'm sure you're all eager to know how we met. My dad did tell a slightly fictional story earlier. I'm going to tell you the true version of events. Right. right here, right now. So, we were both working at LA. Which was true. Thank you, Dad. That's, that's the only true bit. <laughs> I was a trainee solicitor working in property. Megan had just joined the firm as a PA in corporate. 
Now, I was young, free and single and loving life. Wee. And people knew that I loved to party, which I still do, of course. And uh, basically, it came up to Christmas party time and everyone was like, oh, there's a few spare tickets, Dave. Do you want to come along? I was like, why not? I love to party. So I went along. Megan, I didn't know Megan at this point. We partied till about 11.30 and everyone started going home. I was like, come on, guys, it's 11.30, it's Christmas. What's going on? So I round them all up. We got down to Bournemouth. I even took the partner with a little, little walking stick. Got me in Bournemouth. We went down to Vodka Revs and we boogied the night away. Now picture this. Vodka Revs, the dance floor opens. I take centre stage. <laughs> no way. It's quite unusual, I know. I wouldn't usually do this. But I took centre stage. I started bust busting some moves. I mean, it was going. It was going off. People were loving it. And then I looked over, and I saw this face. <laughs> she was gobsmacked. She couldn't take her eyes off me. And she looked at me. I could see her eyes were saying, me and you, drink. And I was like, Hell yeah! <laughs> so, I sauntered over, did a little shimmy, and, and she, you know, she didn't flinch. I said, you're me, baby. Drink at the bar. She was like, okay, baby. I was like, I know. <laughs> so, I bought her a drink, and the rest is history from there. <laughs> she couldn't take her hands off me, mate. <laughs> I'll be honest, the story's slightly different when Megan tells it. Yeah. But let's face it, mine's a much better version. Yeah. So, what is really lovely is we're getting married here at Dean's Court. Our first date was at Dean's Court Squash Court Cafe. Aww. So this really has some meaning to us. We love it here. It's just so beautiful. And ever since that first date, we have never ever look back and we're really 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 happy to be here so this bit of my speech I have to admit is the hardest bit to write it's the hardest bit to come to because I can't just joke I can't just mess about because I'm marrying my dream and it's so hard with the, with the language that I find that I'm inhibited by to speak the words I really want to speak about Megan so I'm going to try and just tell you why it is that I love Megan <laughs> Megan has a calming presence. Whenever I come home from work and I'm stressed and I'm struggling, Megan just, I don't know how you do it, but you just, I come home, she puts an arm on my shoulder, she gives me berry, we snuggle together. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be joking, she gives me berry. She says, do you want berry? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and she makes me feel so much better. Being a lawyer is hard work, I'll be honest, but Megan makes it awesome. <laughs> 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 The second thing is, isn't she stunning? In my words, she's a worldie. She is top of the mark. She, she's not only just outwardly gorgeous, she has this natural beauty about her, which I can't really explain. It is just, it captivates me. It, it sends me wild. My heart flutters every time I look at her. And you all saw it today when I looked down the aisle. I couldn't, I couldn't hold back the emotion just because she is the apple of my eye. I absolutely love her. And she's stunning. I couldn't, you look amazing today. You look absolutely gorgeous today. She's also beautifully smart. Megan has a training contract, a really good top property firm in London. And she's only done that through hard work and tenacity. And she's just got an amazing intelligence, which I'm going to be honest, She's going to be a way better lawyer than I'll ever be. She is going to absolutely wipe the floor with me. But that's fine, because I've got a little bit of a head start. <laughs> but she's also, also tenacity in her ability to, to, to do her job well. She's got this get up and go attitude. She's not an extrovert, but she just loves to try things out. She loves to go on adventures. She loves to take my hand and follow me because I'm a bit mad. And she just, she just says yes, and I love it. And I, I couldn't ask for more than that. She's also honest. I've told you that she likes to just say it like it is. She's true to who she is. Uh, she's never changed around my friends, around my family, uh, around my grandparents, anyone. She's just the same person day in, day out, and I love that person. She's solid, she's my support, and she's my rock. 
I, she's my anchor in my life, and I couldn't do it without you. We bought a house, we've moved to London, and it's been effortless because Megan's been there by my side. Mm. But more than anything, she is my best friend. And I have one story which just epitomizes the friendship. It's, <laughs> it's quite early on when we moved to London. <laughs> and I went out on a Friday night with work. I think I was drinking in the office. And um, Megan was at home. And I came home about nine, half nine. And I was a little bit merry. And Megan was like, oh, I'm not eating, I'm not eating. I was like, yeah, I know, babe, neither have I. Come on, let's go out. She's like, all right, let's go out. So we just went, we just went on a mad one. I don't know what happened, but me and Megan were like, right, let's go. So we jumped on the bus, went to King's Road, had a slap-up dinner, we ate cocktails, we had Prosecco. We were like celebrating. Everyone kept asking us, what are you celebrating? We are like, it's just Friday. <laughs> we just love Friday. Now, we actually named it something. There's young ears here, so it rhymes with duck, but it was Duck It Friday. I'm sure you know what it means. And we named it that because we started doing a few of those, and it was great because we just go out, it's spontaneous, and we have some fun. There's, there's no agenda, and we just do it, and I love it because... That's what French is about. It's about spending time, stupid time, time that doesn't matter. You can fiddle it away or you can do something with it. And we do something with it and I love that because Megan makes all my time awesome. Oh, so, I'm coming into land now, I'm coming into land. So throughout the speech I've tried to joke, I've tried to make it funny and entertain you, but it's really it's procrastination because I'm just taking away from the main event, which is Megan. Um, Megan is the main event. She's just she's stunning, and she takes my breath away every single time I look at her. Um, it's hard to find the words that are suitable to describe what what the relationship is that we have. But basically, today, this moment, this speech, everything we've been planning for the last two years boils down to what is basically my life's dream, <laughs> uh, my one heart's desire, which is to love, honour and just be with you, Megan. I can't imagine life without you, and life with you is completely unimaginable. It is... <sighs> it is life's greatest journey, and I'm so excited to start it with you today. So, I'm truly humbled that you want to be my wife. I love you with all my heart. Upstanding. <laughs> to Megan. To Megan. <laughs> Chris, as I'm sure you'll know, all best man speeches uh, are full of rude references and sexual innuendo. But please be rest assured that he has promised me that if there's anything slightly risque, he'll whip it out immediately. <laughs> I'd like to start by thanking Dave for asking me to be his best man and to Meg for letting him ask me. <laughs> I'm sure you'll all agree that it's been quite an emotional day, even the wedding cake is in tears. <laughs> <laughs> moment for me personally on the stag do when I had absolute clarity about what it meant to be a brother, a friend and a father. It was in one of our favourite live rock establishments. Dave was dancing on top of the bar in an 80s all-in-one ski suit. The bar staff were lighting flamethrowers and napkins were flying everywhere. Oh, it was mental. I'm not entirely sure how it happened, but all of a sudden Dave's ski suit was down by his ankles and without hesitation, one of the bar staff inserted a flaming firework into his ass. <laughs> like a true hero, Dave embraced this opportunity and continued to show off his new anal adornment. <laughs> but then, the firework fell out and landed onto the floor of which was absolutely littered with napkins. Surely a fire hazard. So we all stepped back, thinking that the bar was about to ignite into flames, and this mini inferno started taking place. But if that wasn't surreal enough, it was then that I realised that from the, the corner of my eye, this arm reached out, picked up the firework from this inferno, 
and placed it back into Dave's bottom. <laughs> It was only then that I realised that arm belonged to my dad. I guess the moral of the story here is even when you're in the ship, you can always rely on family to help you find the light. <laughs> I'd like to make a second toast to family, or as we like to call it, the new name is Ma Familia. Ma Familia! Ma Familia! So Dave, you should remember this moment, for it's the last time you'll ever have the upper hand. Cheers, <laughs> <laughs> Dennis. Congratulations on the beginning of the rest of your lives, and much champagne on one's face. Yes. Dave and Megan, I love you both. Mum made me say that. <laughs> A toast to Dave and Meg. Dave and Megan! So, I think that concludes the speeches. And I think now we are having dessert, and then we are going to boogie the night away. Oh, yeah! There's still plenty of alcohol, so don't worry, everything's going to be fine. Thank you all for coming, we love you all, let's party! Don't be shy. Yeah.
See you in the house.